Hey everybody, welcome to the Your Life Blueprint Sound Vibrations. I'm Gandharva and today's Wednesday. Wednesday is the day of the communicator. Communicator. So we can play the fourths. Listen to the music of Alice Coltrane, Tom Waits, Ornette Coleman. It's Knowledge Day. Knowledge Day, ladies and gentlemen. Knowledge Day. When it's in the spiritual, the path of Jnana Yoga. There's a great book by the great author, Somerset Maugham, who happens to have the communicator in the spiritual area of his blueprint. He wrote a book called um, The Razor's Edge, which every spiritual seeker should read. Great book. The main character in that book is Larry, and he's a spiritual seeker who loves knowledge. This guy just loves to learn more and more and more, loves to read. His quest for knowledge takes him all over the world. up relationships and many things for knowledge and for learning. So at one point he goes and um, he goes to Nepal I believe and goes to an a Buddhist um, ashram or you know place spiritual place and um, he's there for a bit and one day the master says to him Larry I want you to go take a hike <laughs> take a hike Larry go to this little cabin in the woods. It's not even a cabin actually. It's just a, a little overhead thing <laughs> with a little fire pit. Go there and um, stay there for a while. Now it's it's cold. Snow is on the ground. It's freezing. So he bundles up starts to walk and no matter where he goes in the world he always takes his books with him so he always has a big bag full of his books so he takes the books and the master actually said to him Larry don't forget your books very important take your books so he's got a, his books in a backpack and he's hiking up to this little thing and he finds it and he sits down and starts to meditate. And, you know, good for a while. He's all bundled up, so he's, he's warm for a while. But then he realizes he has to make a fire because he's starting to get cold. So he... Uh, looks around in the snow for some wood that's dry, finds a, a little bit and makes a fire and okay, then he's happy again, he's meditating. And, but after a while, the fire goes out and he's out of wood. There's no more dry wood around. And he's supposed to stay there for a while, you know can't go back right away. So he's like, oh gosh, what am I going to do? 
and he's been also reading, sitting there reading his books. And... But he's really freezing, and he's about to, you know, he's going to freeze to death if he doesn't do something. So the only thing left to do, he very reluctantly rips a page out of the book he's reading and puts it in the fire. And then he takes another page out, puts it in the fire. And he has to keep doing this to keep the fire going. And he does this until there are no more books left. He's burned all of his books to keep warm. And then he has this instant realization why the master sent him there and why the master insisted that he take his books. Because with the communicator path, it's about using knowledge to go beyond knowledge. So the master wanted to teach him the lesson of not being attached even to his beloved books of knowledge. And that's what happened. And that's the end of the story. He was like, ah, I've been so attached to my books that it's been a problem. And this is the spiritual lesson that I was sent here to learn. So we use knowledge to go beyond knowledge. And let's do that today. Don't be attached to your own learning. Don't be attached to your own thinking. And then you will experience the vibrations of Wednesday.